Okay, that's that's looking pretty good. Oh, hello. Uh, so this video is going to be interesting for both. Uh, hang on, let's wait. It's going to be interesting for both BW Media Spotlight and the Clutter Reports. BW Media Spotlight is, of course, me examining the art of storytelling with the goal of becoming a better storyteller and a cartoonist. Meanwhile, the Clutter Reports is about me organizing all the clutter that I have to deal with. Um, so this is kind of a mix of both of those. Plus, if you just watch on YouTube directly, you know that I've been doing something called the World Building Project, where I've been working on a... Uh, so a production bible for a my Christmas superhero comic, Captain Yuletide. Well, I haven't uh, really worked on that project much lately, and this is why. Now, this is I, one of the uh, clutter projects uh, that I'm trying to do is organize this little art corner into something corner that I can use to uh, do my various comic work and other drawings and all that stuff with. Uh, among other things, and of course, BW Media Spotlight would be uh, the results of the of those uh, of what I would do in this corner. So, for everybody involved, I thought it'd be interesting to um, just kind of show you my little workstation here, uh, the way I've got my cartoonist, my desk, and everything else all set up, and um, so I hope you find this all this all interesting. I'm going. I've got to uh, unplug from the camera, and I hope you don't mind the air conditioners going. It's um, summer. Well, it's not really summer in Connecticut, but we've got a kind of a heat wave going this week. So, um, you will hear the air conditioner going off. I can't avoid that. I'm sorry. But, um, all the video will still, still be interesting. It shouldn't be too distracting. Uh, so, let me show you how I do what I do, and results of all my various activities okay so let's take a quick look around here this first is a wide shot of my setup uh, my main art setup um, if you've seen the BW video reviews you've already seen some of this um, but there have been a few changes uh, there I got the pictures I did for art sound off of my various characters thought they'd be a nice backdrop there and I've added this um, actually it's more like returning this All right, set this, out here. Uh, this is actually a uh, old bookshelf that my mom had when I had the art desk in my room which was an old school desk I can't fit in anymore um, I actually used this and I had my art candy on here and trying to fit every this thing has been kind of a pain trying to set this um, trying to set this on the desk here so um, I've actually, I've taken and uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me because I don't have the mic connected anymore um, <clears throat> I'm always trying to find a place to just put that on there and other stuff like I used to have the computer over here, we'll go back to that in a moment. But um, I had the computer here, and um, the I tried to have the art candy here, and it was just kind of in the way. So um, that's when I got this thing. There's a shelf there. I was hoping to put the uh, world building books down on that. I'm bring bring back down here. The, the work built back on there and I couldn't I do have a few of my art books and dictionary and a thesaurus and a Japanese language dictionary I, I kind of wonder about why I got that but um, but here I got my regular art caddy there's my digital pen there's the glove the, I know this glove I know there's cartoonists who wear gloves when they draw uh, painting Draw with computer painting, uh, or they do like regular paper drawing. And I don't know if this glove is good for that or not, but it is supposed to go with the uh, the tablet. <clears throat> it's out of the way here, and 
Then, of course, I've you know, see I've got this shelf here. It's got um, various uh, tools I need, the baby name books they use for coming up with character names and stickers and some other stuff. And then over here, of course, it's the main art desk, where, which I'll come back to. I actually want to look over here first. This, um, if you are watching this from the Clutter Report, you probably remember this thing, but for the rest of you, uh, this is a set, this is a metal drawer box that uh, my dad had, and I put all my various supplies in here. Uh, here I've got my various pens and pencils and spare leads. Uh, down here I've got uh, my coloring tools, including crayons, markers, uh, more coloring pencils, uh, I figure that's just a good place to put uh, my dry Z's marker. Uh, here I've got uh, the very few uh, measuring tools that I have for drawing. And here I've got various paper types of paper. I've got uh, carbon paper and tracing paper and uh, this thing that I use for my character turnaround just because I it work, works really well. You don't need anything that expensive, I don't think. That works just fine. And uh, here's just some random art supplies, and then this is just a junk, just a junk drawer here. Uh, and then over here, um, and you, by the way, the these two here, the dividers, just cardboard. I cardboard I assemble together. Um, I've done an article on that too for the photo reports. Um, and I think I've discussed this too. Uh, oh, hang on. This drawer here, these drawers here. Um, here I've got the action figures that I use for sometimes for modeling. Um, here I've got more pa different kinds of papers. My main drawing papers go in here, and in here are notebooks and notebooks and other sorts of things and I can't do this one-handed I am also and you'll see what this does in a moment and I gotta plug this thing in because I'm about to run out of battery power hang on okay I got plug better I got plugged in so now let's look at the primary uh, art setup of course this is roughly where the chair would be and I can look over here and I can get my pens or my pencils. Uh, my artist eraser, which um, self cleaning, you need it like clay in it. Should probably work with that, it's starting to get hard again. Uh, that's probably the only problem with this. It gets hard if you don't really do much with it. Various art things here if I want to do things analog. Right now, the layout is uh, for my digital artwork. Uh, as you see here, I got my tablet, which I've reviewed in the past. Really good art tablet. Um, the pen holder I put over here. So it's on your, all my drawing stuff is like right here in the glove. And the tablet's plugged into this is an old tablet. Uh, sticker if you can't read upside down it says my other computer is a time machine uh, this is actually a sticker that I won uh, from a drawing contest not a contest where you draw just they draw your name out of a out of whatever uh, from a website called pcweenies.com it's a webcomic by Krishna Savasavan called PC Weenies which is about a bunch of computer geeks. It's actually kind of funny. And, um, so you know, I just lift this up. Just lift that up and, uh, then I can draw. I've got it loaded up with a lot of, uh, with uh, art software. Slight problem I've been having though. Um, it's, it's for some reason. Uh, the Clip Studio Paint isn't really on the XP computer. I've had trouble with it. 
Uh, in version 1.6, I had trouble where uh, I couldn't load Clip Studio at all. That's their asset browsing software. So it kept getting all goofy with the way it uh, loaded all the assets, art assets. Now it works, but the 3D drawing dolls don't. Um, like I can put it up there. But when I go to make a layer to write over it, it kind of gets all screwy. And, I can't, and the doll disappears. And I've done everything to fix that that I did on the other computer where it worked and got it working fine. And that's not working here. So that's kind of annoying. And, uh, but um, I have some workarounds for now with that. I think I can go into Manga Studio. I think 3D dolls work in Manga, still work in Manga Studio, which is. Weird. Everything worked fine. Everything worked fine in Manga Studio, but in Clip Studio, the same uh, tools don't work. So I don't know if it's something went with the they decided they wanted to do with the ad browser, with the asset browser, or what. But like I said, I can work around it. Um, from here, I put my glasses for when I'm uh, analog drawing because. They kind of, because uh, I take the glasses off, so it's nice and safe in this. So they're nice and safe here in this case. I have a mirror for facial expressions. So if I'm trying to figure out a facial expression, I can just, <coughs> or how to draw it, I can just make the face into the mirror and, and, uh, <coughs> and use that as a guide. And then if I don't have Clip Studio on, if I don't have. Um, the comic or whatever I have, Manny, my little mannequin here. Um, the only problem with it, I like this mannequin for the most part. The only problem is you can see, probably see, he doesn't really have a normal waist, so that makes um, a little harder sometimes. So for something that, so that's why I still got the Ashton figures that I use as my art models uh, as well. But something I needed. Just figure out real quick. I can do it with Manny. I can adjust uh, <clears throat> as need be. Now, what you're seeing here, of course, I got my digital set up. What if I want to draw, draw on paper? Well, I got a solution for that as well. Um, hang, on. hang on a minute. I always have difficulty working tripods. Now, watch this trick. I unplug this. Move this out of the way. This is a this is a notebook that I use. I jot down a, a Jake and Leon strip. This is a strip that came out recently. But I pull this out. And I put on my drawing board. Doesn't that work nicely? I need to take a look, like a course in how to use tripods. Okay, so um, this is my so this is artboard. This is one I picked up uh, a few years ago, mostly because um, I wanted something to use for larger papers than I was normally using, uh, especially since I can't find uh, anything to eleven. The smallest Bristol you can get now is. Uh, 9 by 12 so I can work on that here or I have the larger one that I could also stick in there this is 11 by 17 I think something like that the thing I have to remember is I have to have oh! <sighs> sorry remember is I have to have many sometimes gets Many is a bad habit sometimes of getting in the way, but I have to keep the uh, laptop open so that the board will lie flat enough to use. That was kind of a reason why I hadn't had, I've been wanting to put the laptop up here, but I wouldn't be able to use this thing if I did. So once I, real, once I realized the secret was to have the laptop open, um, it's when I was finally able to get the digital setup that I've been trying to do for a while now. So now I got the laptop right there where I can draw it and I can see what's going on on the screen. Or I can have this 
and not have to move a whole bunch of stuff around. All I gotta do is take the the tablet off. And then of course I don't know if you probably can't see its own shadow, but and there is my keyboard. Slides out. <clears throat> Show you here. Keyboard, it's connected to the docking station that the laptop is connected to. So I can so I can use the keyboard, it's a lot easier. Uh, sometimes when I'm drawing and trying to reach over the desk to get to the laptop's keyboard. And then there's also a mouse. The problem is that mouse is not very good. Um, it's a Logitech, it's a Logitech wireless mouse. But for some reason, I click once and it reads like two, three clicks at a time. And I can't seem to get the settings to not uh, deal with that, so uh, I only use that in emergencies. I mean, I'm just kind of using the tablet and the and the pen. Oh, speaking of the pen, since I did the review, let me show you something I did here. Um, I took some took white out and I painted in the grooves. Not very well, mind you, but the point is that I couldn't see it when I had the thing sitting here over on the desk and it was in the dark you couldn't see the darn thing so I wasn't sure where to put it so this makes it easier now I know where it is and these little lines here show me where the thing is here in case I want to lie it flat instead of sticking it uh, upright so that that made life a little easier so that's kind of so that's how they set up in the art corner but what if I want to use uh, the monk use the uh, Clip Studio with the working uh, with the working 3D dolls and not having all the trouble that I've been having with this. Well, see what the cord reaches. I have this. This is my alternate uh, digital stand, digital setup here. Um, I can put the and put the pen holder somewhere on my computer desk, and I can have the I have the uh, have this TV tray. My only problem with this tray is these legs are way this uh, thing here is way too long, and it's kind of can't get as close as I'd like to because it messes with the uh, wheels on my chair. But I've got the tablet here, and then I can just put the cord into there and. I can use it that way. The only problem with doing this there's the keyboard which means once this is in place I can't use the keyboard. So if I'm like listening to a podcast or something I've got to unplug this because the cord's not long enough unplug this because the cord's not long enough put, move that off to the way put the table off to the way then pull out the keyboard, type whatever it is I'm going to type, or type the uh, the dialogue, push it back in place, put this back in place, connect it up again, and then continue on as normal. And that's, not surprisingly, kind of a pain in the butt. That's why I wanted to have this dedicated art station where I don't have to worry about that. Um, but... I do have this option here, and that also will allow me access to the widescreen. Oh, as you can see, I've got the tablet marked for. I got the set. I got the Clip Studio. I got the uh, tablet set up so that it works with Clip Studio. So I took these little stickers and I marked each of the buttons. So any of the, speed, the, the eight speed buttons they use most so or at least want to be able to use quickly so I have that but um, yeah that's basically my setup um, this is my, this is my art station and I can work here and that's nice relaxed and uh, one thing I'm dealing with now is that the laptop gets a little too hot when I'm trying to use it, so that's something that I need to try and figure out something. I have like a platform 
one of those cool art those uh, laptop cooling platforms but I can't use it too well with what's well, connected to the docking station so <clears throat> we'll see right see if I can figure out something about that but I mean it doesn't get like really hot but it gets kind of warm and I get, and I get worried because it's, it's an old lap it's an old laptop and we got it refurbished a long time long time ago but um, yeah that's my art setup uh, and now that I've got this basically functional, I can go ahead and get back to work on the world building project and any other projects that I want to do. So that's this is basically my art corner in a nutshell. Digital, I can do analog, I can work over there if I need to. Um, whatever I need to do in order to produce stuff. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do around here um, as far as the clutter organizing so that I can create more con more uh, interesting content and um, so I hope uh, no matter which site you came from BW Media Spotlight at bwspotlight.com the clutter report at clutterreport.wordpress.com or just at uh, YouTube uh, as Shadowing Tronics um, I hope you found something interesting here and um, I am so terrible at, at outros, I'm telling you. But, um, yeah, I think it's just going to get back to cleaning, organizing, and drawing, and writing, and videoing, and other important things. And until then, I wish you all happy creating and happy decluttering.